Hello! Today I'm finally going to show you how can you assign resources to the tasks. Why? Because without resources it means that no one will work on tasks. So we have here one simple project and we have assigned to column and assigned to field. If I want to assign, for example, someone who is co calling, whose name is Marielle, I will see no results found. Why? Because there are some rules for assigning uh, resources to the task. First of all, I know that I have John. And if I start to type, I will see the John, John, and I can assign them to the task. But before that, it will ask me if I want to create a group or add a group. So let me take a step back and let me go to my Microsoft 365 Admin Center. You will see that I have Active Group. Active Group is this one block project for the web, which I created. And if I want to go to that group, I just have to enter it and I will see the members of my project group. So I am the member, Mary, John, Jean, Paula, Tim, Peter, and Ellen. There are part or members of my group. Okay, that's fine. But if I don't want to use this group, what can I do? I first will show you all the users. I will, I will show you the users, active users here. And you will see that I have some users which are real and some that are just uh, 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 made up for these uh, uh, videos. This is Ellen, Jim, John, Mary, Peter, Paula, Tim, and uh, and my son Tim Trakovsky, uh, he is not made up. He is really, he is real person. But you can see that I have active users in my Office 365 tenant. They are in Azure Ac Active Directory. So as you can see, they have their email address. An extension is ntrakovsky.com, which is my domain. Okay, now. I have all those users. Those users can belong to one or many uh, uh, groups. But back to the project, if I want to assign resource, I can do, let's say this one will be perform this one will be per performed by John. I will choose John and I have to choose now. Do I, do I want create new group which will have a name like my project? Okay, so it will have a name like this one. Or do I want to use existing group? For this purpose, I will create a new group. I will say, okay, create a group and assign. And John will be assigned. I will go to task two now and I will have want Mary. I will find the Mary from my Azure Active Directory, but when I choose her, I will be asked if I want add Mary as a member of the project and that and that means that she will be a part of my group, okay, my project with resources group. I will assign her and now I can do that with Peter. I will get the same question and I can use Paula as well. Sorry, Paula, Paula. 
it is late, I'm a little bit tired. Okay, Paula. If I want to add, for example, Ellen to the same task, no problem. I can do the same thing. I will assign her and that's it. If I have a task five, for example, and I want to, let's say it will be five days duration, it will depend on task four, and I want to assign John here. As you can see, I don't have to add him to the group because he is already in that group. So when I want to assign someone, I will see that John, Mary, Peter, Paul, and Ellen are already in my group. But what if I, if I want Tim? I will not find Tim and I will be asked if I want to assign Tim to, the, to that project or to that project group. So once when you add some person as a team member, as a group member, you don't have to do it again for the same, pro same project. So I can here choose John, and Mary, and Peter, and Paula, and that's it. So, basically, if I go back here, and I go to the groups here, and I say active groups, you will see that this project with resources group is here, and it is created. Be aware of that, that if I want to delete this project, okay? If I want to delete this project here, I don't need it. I will delete it. The group will, I will refresh this page, not be deleted. So if you choose to have many projects and if you, after that, delete them, and for each and every project, you will have separate group, specific group. After deletion of the project, you will not delete automatically the group assigned to that project. So it should be done by yourself if you have rights to do it. So I am going here now, and I will here now say, say delete the group delete project with resources uh, uh, gr this is group not a project but uh, uh, the name of the group a project with resources i will delete it and that's it okay now once again i will now create new blank project i will say okay i want to to have project with exist existing group okay i will go here okay sorry and i can here go to just for the start add a group create group and enter name to add a member or i can add the project to existing group so i can do project with existing group I can here click Alan, okay, John, Jim, at etc. etc. and create a group. And I showed you that you can do it in other way when you first assign a task a, a resource to the task, or I can use existing group. What does it mean? That I can select group group from a groups which are already created and here you can see that i have only one group so that is the reason why uh, uh, uh have offer uh to select just one group and i will i will use that group i will set add now if i go to task one and i go here to assign two and i want marry I, do, I will not be asked or prompted to add this member to the group because Mary is already on that group. Not only Mary, but everyone else from the group can be assigned to the tasks. So be aware of that. To conclude this video, I have to say, 
when you create a new project and you want to assign a resor the resource or resources to specific tasks, you can add one on or more assign one or more resources to the tasks, but uh, before that you should choose are you going to use for that particular project existing group or you are going to create a new one and if you create a new one or you use existing group be aware that if you delete your project the group will not go away and if you want to delete the group with your project you should uh, 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 follow two steps. You should first delete your project and after that you should from your end admin center delete your specific group which you want to delete. That's all for today. Thank you very much and have a nice day.